Wow, last week. Who remembers what we learned about last week or what we were doing last week? Sunshine, sunrises, nature. We were looking at Psalm 19, which was talking about God's glory being shown in nature. And the psalmist was talking about how we can know God in nature, but we know God fully in his word, and that we can trust him because of his word. This week, we're going to look at another psalm. We're going to look at Psalm 34. It's got a few things in it that I think will be really helpful for us. So, is there any time when you guys are scared or worried or something happens and you just need to cry out to someone? What about when something happens at home? Something bad happens, or maybe even something good happens? Who do you cry out to at home? Dad, Mum? Yeah. I reckon the refrain in a lot of families is, Mum! Dad! We hear it a lot. What happens, so that's Mum and Dad, who do you cry out to when something happens at school? Teachers. Teachers. Now, hopefully you don't say Mum or Dad. (laughs) You go, Mrs... Or mister, and something happens and then you cry out to your teachers for help or for something else. Maybe it's something good that's happened. You go, oh, have a look at this mister something. Maybe, maybe on Fridays you see Mr. Bailey. You go, Mr. Bailey, have a look at this. Well, we can cry out to someone else. Who can we cry out to at any time? God. And you know what? I think in this psalm we're going to hear... David cry out to God. He actually pretends to be insane. It's a little bit funny. Were you listening to when Max was reading the Bible? What was David doing? He was yelling. Yeah, he was, I think, scribbling on the ground and letting the drool run down his face. It's a little bit funny, isn't it? Yeah. But in the psalm, we're going to hear... We hear the different side of it. We hear what David was thinking. And so we're going to hear David crying out to God. And we can do that too. And so when we're scared or when we're worried, we can cry out to God. And you know what? David says, this poor man cried out to God. And what do you think he said? Do you think, I hope God hears me? Or... Maybe God will hear me. What do you think he says? Well, he says, yeah, help me, God. But how do you think David thinks God will respond? Yeah, he'll listen. He goes, God will hear me. And so we know that when we cry out to God, God will hear us and God will act for us. He even says that in verse... And you have to listen out when Andrew reads this. He says in verse 6, this poor man cried out to God and he hears him and he saves him from all his troubles. The angel of the Lord encamps around those who fear him and rescues him. Isn't that wonderful news? Now, God may not rescue you straight away, but it's a definite and sure thing that he'll rescue you Because what happened with Jesus? Did God rescue Jesus from the cross, like we just heard in the song? Oh, did he? Or did Jesus die? But what happened then? He rose again. And so what happens with Jesus happens with God, those who follow Jesus. So we can be sure that when we cry out to God, God will hear us. Isn't that wonderful? We've got some kid sheets on that, and maybe you could listen to Andrew as he unpacks that a little bit more. Why don't I pray, and then you can grab those. (laughs) Heavenly Father, thank you that we know that you hear us when we cry out to you. Thank you that you hear us and that you act on behalf of your people. 
Amén.